back off China for its Senkaku and not Tiaoyu. Amid Indochina tensions, Japan sends a clear message to China. China is embroiled in yet another dispute, this time with Japan, as the Ishigaki Municipal Assembly in Japan's Okinawa Prefecture has renamed an administrative chain that contains the Senkaku Islands administered by Japan. This island chain is also claimed by China, which calls them Diaoyu Islands. The assembly has changed the name of the administrative area containing the Senkaku Islands from Tonoshiro to Tonoshiro Senkaku. There is a locale in the downtown Ishigaki which shares the same name as Tonoshiro. Therefore, the assembly says that the administrative area containing Senkaku Islands have been renamed so as to avoid confusion. But in reality, Japan has tightened its grip on the disputed islands by inserting the Japanese name Senkaku. This is being read as a clear move to counter the Chinese name Deaoyu. The Japanese government has been controlling the islands since 1972. It also bought the Senkaku Islands from a private owner in 2012, but an expansionist Beijing continues to claim them. The island group is situated 1,931 kilometers southwest of Tokyo, and ever since the coronavirus pandemic gripped the world in April, Chinese vessels have also been hovering around the disputed Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea. Only last month, Four Chinese Coast Guard vessels entered the Japanese waters near the uninhabited Senkaku Islands and started chasing a Japanese fishing boat. But Japan confronted the Chinese vessels and warded them off with a warning. Beijing itself admits having intruded into Japanese waters and the Chinese Coast Guard had stated that its vessels had, and I quote, patrolled the territorial waters around the Diaoyu Islands. The Japanese move has triggered a sharp reaction from Beijing, which has labelled the island group as its inherent territories. Threatening Japan, Beijing asked it to, and I quote, abide by the spirit of the four principal consensus, avoid creating new incidents on the Diaoyu Islands issue, and take practical actions to maintain the stability of the East China Sea situation. Even on the day when the Municipal Assembly approved the legislation changing the name of the uninhabited islands, four Chinese vessels were sailing through the area. However, the Ishigaki mayor Yoshitaka Nakayama maintains that the move is merely intended to streamline administrative work. The ties between China and Japan have already soured over Chinese transgressions in the East China Sea. Recently, Japan deployed ballistic missiles near the maritime border with China. Tokyo has been bolstering its air defenses and is set to deploy the Patriot Pac-3 MSC air defense missile system at four military bases this year. Currently, the Patriot Pac-3 has a maximum range of 70 kilometers, which will be enhanced to 100 kilometers with the Pac-3 MSE. There is growing anti-China sentiment in Japan for several reasons. Tokyo had invested heavily in the Olympic Games, a whopping $12.35 billion to be precise. But the Wuhan virus crushed Japan's Olympic dream. Even miffed by the role of the WHO under Dr. Tedros, the Japanese Deputy Prime Minister went on to say that the World Health Organization might have to change its name to the Chinese Health Organization or the CHO. Later on, the Shinzo Abe government earmarked 2.2 billion US dollars out of the 993 billion US dollars stimulus package for helping Japanese manufacturers shift production out of China. This triggered an exodus of Japanese companies from China and this was a severe jolt to the exports-based Chinese economy. Moreover, Japanese Prime Minister also took the lead in issuing a G7 statement on Hong Kong. He even said, rightfully, the G7 bears the responsibility to lead the global opinion. Abe added, that being said, Japan wants to take the lead in releasing a statement within the G7 framework about Hong Kong affairs based on the principle of one country, two systems.
Later, the statement that was issued by the G7, China resolutely opposed. China lodged a serious protest to this G7 statement. China is also engaged in rising tensions with the United States, Japan's key ally, further complicating bilateral ties. Meanwhile, Tokyo also looks unlikely to fix a date for Chinese President Xi Jinping's state visit to Japan. It seems that Abe is not too keen on meeting Xi Jinping. What is also not lost on us is the fact that Japan's move to rename the island chain has come amidst soaring military tensions between India and China in eastern Ladakh. China is bullying all its maritime and land neighbors, apart from integrating the semi-autonomous region of Hong Kong completely with the controversial National Security Bill. Beijing's revisionism is peaking because it feels that its neighbors are incapacitated by the pandemic. China has already gotten such bad PR that it doesn't care if it faces more backlash for bullying its neighbors. Japan fears China could do in the emerging flashpoint of Senkaku what it did in eastern Ladakh with India. If China crosses the dangerous red line with Japan, it will be at the Senkaku Islands. And in fact, in 2018, a nuclear-powered submarine was also spotted near the uninhabited islands. But Tokyo's message to Beijing is loud and clear. It is Senkaku and not Diaoyu.